During the night of December 2, 1985, a handful of witnesses from varying states, countries and providences would report a celestial event undocumented by most astronomers at the time, including those of the International Astronomy Union. Many who reported on the event falsely claimed it to be the sighting of Halley's Comet, which was predicted to pass the Earth in 1986, while sightings of Halley's Comet did occur some two months later. That particular meteor would not be in its perihelion stage, the stage where the comet is closest to the Sun, until February, making the event highly unlikely to be Halley's. Furthermore, cited reports suggested that the celestial body dove towards the Earth at a steep angle, with an estimated trajectory directed at somewhere in northern Canada. Something that Halley's Comet has never done, given its documentation dating back to 240 BC, and an upcoming visit in 2062. While many cite the 1758 apparition of Halley's Comet on Christmas Day as a logical explanation as to the December 1985 sighting, others have concluded these claims to be inaccurate, citing the logic as misleading. Other theories as to the celestial being's identity cite anything from meteorites to UFOs, with some explanations being logical and others downright science fiction. According to an obscure, regionally based newspaper from the territory of Nunavut, Canada, one eyewitness offered a rather unorthodox explanation. Upon entering a clearing in the middle of the Boreal Forest in northern Canada, 58-year-old Nunavut resident and local hunter Arthur Christie noticed a crater in the earth, which he claimed was created by the formerly overhead celestial object, which he assumed to be Halley's Comet. After approaching the crater, the hunter noticed a rather large deer amidst a smoldering hole. The deer, with large antlers and wide, glassy eyes, was seemingly unharmed despite the surrounding crater. After a short deliberation, Christie decided to mercifully shoot the animal, both to collect a bounty and also to avoid any painful injury it might have sustained while attempting to flee the steep crater. Rather than using the beast for venison, or skinning it for buckskin, Christie chose to taxidermy the animal, mounting its head on the wall in his basement. The hunter remarked that the deer was unlike any critter he had ever seen, and he had seen a lot of them. According to Christie, the deer was extremely difficult to gut, as its skin was like rubber. Unlike most of the deer he had killed in the past, this deer, which he nicknamed Halley, felt inorganic to the touch as if it wasn't an actual deer at all. The animal, despite the bullet wound directly through the skull and cranial cavity, appeared to never stop breathing or blinking, despite its clinical death. Yet, regardless of the strangeness of the animal's biology, Christie noted that, upon opening up the buck, its features were normal looking, as if anatomically correct. Two hours after mounting the animal's head on the wall in his basement, Christie reported a low, whirring sound emitting from the static head. The sound, which perpetually lasted for weeks according to Christie, sounded like a high-pitched microwave. Despite routinely checking the head, Christie never found the source of the sound, resorting to constantly shutting the basement door in order to sleep, both to dampen the sound and to close up the still blinking head which he claimed was watching him. Many rumors began circulating regarding the strange phenomena as word around the Nunavut area and the greater parts of northern Canada took credence. In the face of all the attention the mysterious head was garnering, Christie refused to publicly show off the deer, being the private and isolated man that he was. Many assumed that, due to his media resistance, Christie was likely a fraud. However, the hunter offered a different explanation. It might be a satellite, Christie claimed. It's been watching us, I think, and I don't want it to hurt anybody. Christie reportedly locked the basement to his home in Equalute. When asked about where he supposed a deer-shaped satellite originated, Christie shrugged. I think someone, or something, smarter than us, made Halley. Why? Hell, I wish I knew. Many who heard about it at the time began relating the story of the space-bound deer to the Christmas celebration, 
given the convenient timing of the incident. Using the 1823 Book of the Night Before Christmas as a source of inspiration, the rather off-color comparison sparked the nickname Comet to be exchanged for Halley, alluding to a name given to one of Santa's legendary reindeer. Though the interest in Comet only grew in the small town of Calwit and the greater Nunavut area, the story would take one final sharp and unexpected turn. Arthur Christie was reported missing on December 25, 1985. The local Iqaluit police commented that foul play was an unlikely possibility as there was no evidence of a break-in. No theft was reported from Christie's residence, except for the disappearance of the comet head, which was never discovered. Some claim that Christie fled with a taxidermized animal, fearful to be discovered as a scam artist. Others believe Christie was abducted having been targeted by Comet's creator. Who or what might have taken Christie remains a mystery to this day, as Arthur Christie was never seen again. Moreover, many who believe in the more fantastical theories surrounding the celestial deer, such as its ties to the legend of Santa Claus, believe Comet was not the only one in existence. <laughs>